So, how are you guys doing today? You guys ready for the second match? We got True Hyper Mario, which really, really wants to win this game because he wants to go up against Zone. He loves racing Zone. I think they're from the same area. Um, and Uni Nerdo, I think this is his first points tournament. So, uh, he's he's got to be nervous. Uni was in season two? Okay. Nice, let's get these going. Mitch, please. I, I don't have to remember that kind of stuff. Oh, nice catch. I almost dropped some of my food. You guys got 15 minutes before it starts. Oh, Drew Hyper with the Jesus clip. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I always love watching the runners scramble in last minute practice. Oh, come on. Oh, that wasn't a duck jump, Uni. Man, that sucks. So when you go to when you revert to small Mario at some point in the level, you can't you can't duck jump anymore, so you don't get the point. Oh I I don't think he's feeling too good about this point yet. Almost took damage there. Thank you. 
Ooh, I should have made the no bumps in World 4. Uh -huh. He already didn't duck. Oh, not a duck jump. There we go. There we go. Oh, you need got wall jump first try. Four times in a row. Well, I mean, he's loading the same save state. But he executed the jump properly, which is very nice. No, I think they're loading save states where they have the right subpixel value. Oh, I agree, Bagler. I mean, it's still executing the jump for the wall jump is no joke. Just jumping a little too early there, Uni. Just a little too early. <laughs> Wasted. There you go. I see your little arms reaching in there, Sim. Yo, we got 10 minutes. We want MFP tunnel, that's right. Are we placing some bets? Sure. Oh, true hyper. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> what do you guys think? Wasted? <coughs> Sim doesn't think it's wasted. Well, you guys could hear Sim. Oh yeah, let's go, buddy. Well, he's at the door. He's not here here.
pa 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 Yeah, the way I the way I seeded round one in the tournament was that everyone everyone had a fair matchup, an even a non you know what I mean a non stacked matchup for their first race. So everyone has a good opportunity for the first race. I, I can't say that somebody with the fifty one is going to be going up against someone with the fifty six later in the season. I mean that's possible too, but that sort of stuff is out of my control, right? You, I mean it's um. You can't can't do anything about stuff like that. But that's what makes the tournament exciting because it's based on points and there's RNG points. As long as you get under one hour, you should be good. As long as you get under one hour, get as many points as you can. You might lose the first place point there, so that's one point. And you might not get a sub 54, so that's a potential two points. So three points there. But you could totally get three points from getting more lucky than your opponent. That's totally possible. Uh, what if you get 69 minus? Yeah, who knows? All right.
We got the double music. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Yes. One minute until this starts. Are you guys ready? These runners look ready! These runners look ready! Oh. Yeah, get out of the safe- get out of those safe states. Alright, let's just talk to these runners. Uh, we'll start with, um, well, we'll see whoever whoever's in the lead first. All right, here they go. Nice. Make sure, yep, everything's looking good. Everything's, ooh, first frame jump already? How? How did he get the first frame jump already? All right, here we go. Is chat ready? I need to see dot ready from chat. I need to make sure that everyone in chat is ready with the dot ready. I can't start unless chat's ready. If chat's not ready, then we're going to have to go home for the day. We're done for the day. Wow, what a great race. <laughs> All right, thank you, chat. Chat is ready. Right, a dot not ready. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, let's do it. Okay. Uh, three, two, one, go. Woo! All right, we're going to see who starts first. And it looks like it's going to be true Hyper Mario. Right on, it's the first race for these two runners. This is the second race of the tournament. True Hyper Mario versus Uni Nerdo. Going for the 1,000 bones. Oh, true Hyper Mario already misses the turtle, but he does keep P-Speed and it allows him to not have to slow down too much. We've definitely seen a lot in the past that these tournaments you know, a little mistake. You could make like a minute of mistake and still win. It's it's very possible. Uni Nerdo does have a little bit of a cutoff here. Let's try and fix that up uh, real quick. Shouldn't take too long. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Uni Nerdo taking some unfortunate damage there. Just like just like True Hyper Mario, the hardest part, guys, of racing anything is always like the first like thirty seconds. And I swear, it's like the first minute is always so difficult. So, the first thing that these runners are going to be looking for is getting the tunnel in 1-5. Ooh, True Hyper Mario, he's able to get it. Nice. Dude, that Death Waffle is a very scary thing. Don't worry. N Uni Nerdo seems like he's just got the early, the early jitters. Uh, he'll be able to get rid of those soon. I, I bet, I bet. Once you get into World 2, things start clearing up a bit. All right, True Hyper Mario. He is going to be the first person to go for that MFP tunnel.
Oh, and he gets it. Congratulations. All right, Uni Nerdo, it's your turn. Oh, and he doesn't get it. Very nice try. He takes damage, though. Very unfortunate. He's having a very, very rocky um, beginning of the race. Hold on a sec. Tracker one. There it is. I, I don't know what's cutting off tracker one, but I can fix it after. And we're getting very, very choppy. Okay, so yeah. It's being choppy just like it was yesterday. So I think there's just too much. Too much chugging on the internet. Okay, true Hyper Mario get- Ooh, neither runner gets the leaf, guys. Neither runner gets the leaf. So they're not gonna have to worry about remembering to use that in 3-8. Okay, now now we're in the go. There's a few things that I wanted to that I wanted to crisp up. I didn't notice about the tracker, so I'm not I'm not sure exactly why the tracker is being a frig like that. I don't I don't think it's Yeah, it's nothing like that. I'm not sure what it is, but we can fix that later. It's not a big deal. Besides, we're already in world two. We are already in World 2. Alright. World 1 airship, not a whole lot going on for these runners. Not a whole lot, but we do have True Hyper Mario in the lead with one extra point. And that is based on the Mushroom House. See if I can. Let's get a little buffer there, not too bad. Get a little buffer there, not too bad. Just trying to make sure that we can get this running smoothly. Just changing up a few things here and there. Looking good though, looking good. Sorry about that, guys. A little rocky start, but we're only a couple minutes into the race, so it's not bad. As long as we get it set and organized. All right, so World 2. What do they need to look out for in World 2? They need to not fall in the mode of tears, which is in 2-2. Two, two. They need to do the Red Rocket Strat in 2-3. And they have to get lucky with both Boomerang Bros moving backwards. Both Boomerang Bros moving backwards. All right, so they're going to start off with 2-1. 2-1's normally not that hard of a level, but it can it can take some souls. That what is that? The fire snake sometimes. He's got some weird jumps. He can do some uh really weird things. So I got my eyes feasted on Uni Nerdo, because he really needs to catch up a little bit here. Ooh, clips a little bit into the music. No, you see what I mean? Stuff like that, man. Stuff like that can't be helped. There's, there's not a whole lot that they can do about that stuff. Dry Bro Mario, a little scared here, doesn't want to fall in the moat, doesn't want to fall in the hole. Yeah, there's nothing worse than working hard to gain points and then getting punished by losing points. So, doesn't fall in the mode of tears, but Uni Nerdo is going for the spade game. He gets the extra fire flower, he gets the star, and he gets the 10 bucks. So, Uni Nerdo is going to be awarded the spade game, where True Hyper has not gone for it. It looks like he's not going to go for it. Oh, he's going back for it! Bumping on the overworld map. Let's see if he gets it. Ooh, he's looking at his he's looking at his cheat sheet and he does get it right on. Right on, both get it. Making making these speedrunners have to go a little bit out of their comfort zone here. Um, which is actually pretty cool. Alright, now he's back in action. So it looks like True Hyper's not that far ahead of Uni Nerdo, considering uh he did a lot of extra map movements there. He did lose some time. Nice, Uni Nerdo. Nice, dude. Gets that early piece speed. All right, so starting to look like Uni Nerdo is back on track, getting it together here. Very nice. All right, going through the spike room. They're both in the spike room at the same time. That's uh, that's big news. That's that's very important. Ooh, True Hyper taking damage already. True Hyper taking damage. So he's not going to be awarded that point. Ooh, 
True Hyper, he, I've noticed he definitely bumps on the overworld map quite a bit. And just like that, I think, I, I noticed Uni Nerdo's Boomerang Bro went backwards. I think True Hyper's, True Hyper Mario's Boomerang Bro went backwards. I, I'm pretty sure his went backwards too. Yeah, they both, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure they both went backwards. And now this is the red rocket strat. They have to use this red turtle shell at the end of this level. It looks like True Hyper Mario got it. Nice, and it looks like Uni Nerdo, both of them got the red rocket strat. Right on, GG's. I love when races are like super close like this, right? Like nobody's nobody's got a game over yet, so that makes me happy. As long as nobody gets a game over, I'm happy. Ooh, True Hyper losing his P speed. Uni Nerdo's gonna be able to keep it and still has his fire flap. Okay. Never mind. Yo, commentator's curse right there. Well, it looks like True Hyper is going to have to do four, uh, two five, where Uni Nerdo has to do two four. Very big difference in levels. Oh, that is one of the differences. Two four is a little bit harder than two five. Uni Nerdo having to take that death. He's not going to be awarded the deathless points. So he's back down to five points, and ah, uh, True Hyper Mario's Boomerang Bro does not move backwards. Did Uni Nerdo just take another death right there? He's gonna have to lose a point there for that. Every death is a loss in point. Just exactly what I was talking about before there. That is crazy. Driper Mario having to take a little bit of a slowdown there. He wants to make sure he gets that turtle because if he doesn't, he's going to be really flapping around in this level for quite some time. Especially if you accidentally kill a turtle, you have to go somewhere else to get a turtle or... Well, I mean, I guess they're beetles. Um, or you have to actually exit the stage and re-enter the stage, right? If you don't have a tail and you kill all the enemies, you're going to have to leave the stage and come back. Or if you get a mushroom and the question block with the item is already used, then yeah, you have to go back um, back out of the level. That's crazy. So they, they did design the pyramid so that you cannot soft lock, but oh boy, man, it's a big time loss if that happens. All right, Uni Nerdo, unfortunately, in a very tough spot here. He's got a backtrack, and by backtracking, it causes him to do an extra spade card game um, just so he can get the hammer brother here. Let's see if he moves backwards. Oh, he does! Hey, at least he gets that. Two backwards, and uh, True Hyper only got one backwards. Right on, Uni. Is he going to use his Fire Flower here? He's going to use a Mushroom, get Fire Flower on the airship. Right on. All right, no Throne Jump from either runner here, so the Throne Jumps are not going to be... Um, I don't know. I, it's, it's weird. I wonder if the Throne Jumps might be a little too difficult. It is worth two points... A big two-point swing. I definitely try and do Throne Jump uh, every time I enter the castle. Even in normal speedrun, just for fun, right? You just want to you just wanna do Throne Jumps all the time. Right on. True Hyper Mario is going to be the first one to finish. Very nice. Hey, fire kills are not easy, especially if you don't know which pattern you're going to get. So I can imagine Uni Nerdo has no idea what his what his boss is gonna do. Um, so if I was him, I would probably not try and fire kill. All right, take a drink of water. Now we come up to our first shared point: the frame jump in three one. They also have door four and they also have runaway bro. They both runners have lost their fire flower, so they do not get to keep that point. Oh, true hyper does not get the frame jump. So if Uni Nerdo gets this.
Right on, right on. Th there's not a whole lot that goes on in 3-1 here. Um, and while we wait for Uni Nerd to finish up in the airship, we get to see if True Hyper Mario does P-Speed in 3-2. Looks like he's setting up for it. Oh my gosh. When did 3-2 become so easy for everyone? What happened here, guys? What happened? Oh! Well, it's a good thing this isn't the mode of tears. Ooh, and Uni Nerdo does not get the frame jump either, so neither runner gets the frame jump point. But I have a feeling one of the runners is gonna get door four. One of the runners is definitely gonna get door four. All right, Uni Nerdo finishing up 3 1 while True Hyper Mario gets into 3 3. Look pretty hot, looking pretty hot. Nice. 3 3 is not too bad. It's it's a little difficult. It's got it's got a lot of jumps, right? It's uh it takes a while to get through the level, even with P speed. It's a really long level. Um, and it's actually one of those levels where it's harder the slower you go. It's one of those it's one of those levels that's harder the slower you go. Nice Uni Nerdo is gonna pop off the fish. And True Hyper Mario is definitely gonna go for door four here, right? Come on, we need some we need to see some door four action. Oh, and he does not get it. It looks like he was holding left through the door transition, so I don't think he would have been able to get it um, anyways. All right, Uni Nerdo, you can catch up, dude. You just gotta hope that True Hyper has um, something bad happen to him. <clears throat> right on. Gets the boom boom kill. He's gonna be moving on. So let's see what kind of strategies these runners use in World 3. If they're going to go for both Hammer Brothers, they're not. Okay, it looks like they're not going to be. So it looks like we're going to have the grab music box in World 2, put Hammer Brothers to sleep in World 3, do the Fortress in World 4 uh, strategy. All right, True Hyper, er, Uni Nerdo, you need to get the door 4 for a point and to catch up in time. Oh, he's not going to go for it. So, he, hey, at least he's going to catch up in time. He probably feels like he's really, really far behind. Um, which isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. True Hyper Mario has a lot of Fire Flowers in his inventory. I think he got one from the Mushroom House and he got one from the card. All right. Neither runner getting Runaway, bro. Um, that's so weird. We have not issued a single Runaway Bro point in this tournament. I think it's because Haxer hasn't been racing yet. If Haxer had already raced, he'd probably already have that point. Oh, go back and get it. Yes, okay, I guess it's Fire Flower. Fire Flower is very important. You definitely want to use it on Wendy. Wendy's very annoying without Fire Flower. Um, so if you have a chance to grab it, you're, you're pretty good. Neither runner has used the lifeline. Right on. Gets the H jump. You love to see it. Hey, man, the H jump is pretty tough. All right, here we go. True Admar is going to be the first one to exit on the airship. Uni Nerdo followed by in 3-9. And hold on one sec. I will be right back. Oh, perfect timing. Perfect timing. 
That was actually the most perfect timing I've ever had. I just wanted to take a double a double look at the um, at the internet thing right now. Let's make sure this runs smooth. All right. True Hyper Mario. Uh, so what are we looking for here? No runaway. Ooh, no points there for True Hyper in World 3. No points for Uni Nerdo. That's very unfortunate. But we still have World 4 now. Uh, bottom piece speed in 4-1. Marathon and duck jumps. We saw these runners practicing a lot of their duck jumps before. So let's see if, uh, let's see if we can make it happen. Right on, let's see. Okay, grab, hey, hey, the MFP turtle shell grab, I love it. Oh, he doesn't get P-Speed though. Oh, so he will not get that point. He will not get that point. This is a great opportunity, man. Like, think about it. If Uni Nerdo got door four and he gets P-Speed here, he would actually be tied up with seven points here. Uh, so um, this, is a, this is a classic case of one of those, like you feel like you're behind in time. So you stop trying to get points that cost time. So you catch up in time, but in reality, you definitely want to keep going for the points as much as you can. All right, Uni Nerdo has finally entered World 4. What is, what is it, Turtle Island? Did you guys notice the World 4 is shaped like a turtle? I didn't know that for the longest time. All right, Uni Nerdo, chance to get a point. Oh, and he takes the bottom path, he gets the point. Oh, crap. Yeah, we don't want to hit that. Should have put it back over there, but here we go. Just like that, Uni Nerdo catching up a little bit, getting one extra point that True Hyper Mario did not get. Right on. Oh, he goes for the Koopa shoot. Nice, and just like that. Just like that. Dude, 4-3 is a really, really good level. 4-3 is a really, really good level. I think a lot of people like that. Try Mario doing the Fortress without a star. Very, very risky. Oh, and he gets the head bonk. Okay, he's gonna go down to take the safe strat. Man, not doing this level without a star. I mean, they, they got the star from the spade card game. And I'm pretty sure yesterday's race runners fit. Oh! Uni Nerdo with the death in 4-3. That is now three, two deaths. Three deaths. Three deaths now for Uni Nerdo. Gets those points and the points gets taken back from him, unfortunately. Right on, three deaths is a little too much. Ooh, yeah, take that slow if you get a little scared. Nice, make it through. So far, no runner's gotten a marathon yet. Ooh, goes to a little super swim. Yeah, the spiny, she, he knew, man. He knew it would be there. He's gonna use music box, He's gonna use mushroom. Nice, gets to use his items. That's what I kind of like about adding the spade card game in. You can like kind of do stuff to use your own items. Oh, nice, dude. He gets the damage boost through safety. Unfortunately, he's not going to save any time because that death definitely cost him. He would have saved some time. And true Hyper Mario going for the duck jumps only. He's looking, he's looking in the clear. Yeah, and he's in the clear. There you go. He got all the duck jumps. No marathon from either runner yet so far. Uh, Uni Neuro's got them to sleep. It is possible for him to get a runaway, or sorry, uh, Marathon after level four, but we don't know. Doing this level of small Mario is also very scary. So hopefully this goes smooth. And it looked like True Hyper Mario got the P-Wing, which is actually really nice. He's not gonna have to do... Oh, Uni Nerdo gets sniped by another Spiny. What is happening? What is happening? It, it's crazy because True Hyper Mario is, doesn't have that many more points than him, uh, but the deaths are definitely what's costing him right now. 
I can safely say that not many runners practice doing 4-4 as Small Mario, because you definitely don't expect Small Mario to be a thing in 4-4. I mean, that's just not... That's just, that just doesn't happen. Alright, pull it together, Uni. Pull it together. We got two races. As long as you get through an under 60, collect some points on the way. Oh, and then the death actually changed the music box situation for him, and it looks like he's avoiding the cloud. Um... Which is going to be somewhat disastrous, but he's going to go for all of his duck jumps. Oh, and that jump was not a duck jump, unfortunately. Ooh, taking the damage there. I am just <clears throat> focused on Uni Nerdo right now. There's just so much to watch. All right, nice. Okay, he made it through. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to get the duck jump award. But it happens, man. It happens. Oh, it happens. Whoa, that was weird. It looked like he did a wall jump on, on the inside of the stair. Is he going for flagpole glitch? All right, nice. Getting through, getting through. This level's not that easy, especially if you don't have Fire Flower Mario or, like, P-Speed. It gets, uh, like, a lot of the jumps are pretty awkward in this level. Ooh, tries to go for the quick kill with the duck jump. Oh, my goodness. Watch out, dude. Okay, he got it. Holy crap, that was scary. All right. The best auto-scroller in the world. War world 4 auto-scroller. The best in the world. AKA the worst in the world. So he's going to go for this Hammer Brother. I think P-Wing. Yes, P-Wing. Right on. And if they switch, no. He's going to have to go for it. He's going to have to go for it. Oh, it is the cloud. What a gamble right there. So let's hope the Hammer Brother... Oh, he is going to move down. Wow, he got nice and lucky, dude. That's crazy. Incredible. All right, all right. Not bad. He's got the cloud. But as it stands, he's uh, probably over two minutes behind by now. Uh, the World 4 Auto Scroller is about two minutes long. So... Um... The good the good news is is true hyper Mario is off the auto scroller, so we have something to watch while Uni Nerdo finishes up the auto scroller. Uh unfortunately there's not a whole lot we can do here. Alright, true hyper Mario first. Is he gonna use P-Wing music box strat? He is. Now it it it, it amazes me how many people are using the P-Wing uh music box strat. I guess in this scenario, they want to go for the clip in 7-6, so that makes sense, right? Ooh, very nice. Very nice fly in there. Boom, 288. Getting the music box. This allows them to not have to worry about taking damage from Fire Flower in this world. Alright, here we go. Here we go, the bottom. Let's do it, let's see how this goes. Dude, I love this point. This is probably my favorite point in the tournament. All right, here we go. Let's see how this goes. Okay, he does the damage strat. Does the turn back. Sick, dude. 284 in the pipe. He's going to land on a 282, so he does get the point. Very nice. All right, Uni Nerdo is going to be entering World 5 as well. Ooh. That sounded like a movement of four, but we're going to find out because he's going to music box right here. He's not going to music box right here. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. The true, the hyper, the Mario. Killing it, man. Uni Nerdos coming in. He's going to have to fight the boss. Hopefully he doesn't go through the boss. This boss is famous for that garbage. He does take damage, but he gets the kill. And honestly, I think that's all that matters right now. As long as you get the heck out of there. Okay, so that was a movement of one, so he did not get a movement of four there. That was a, that had to have been a movement of three. Right? You cannot get a movement of four and then a movement of one. You'd have to get a movement of four, a movement of two, or a movement of four after the first movement of four. 
And then you could get a movement of one. Ooh, he lost P-Speed. Is this going to affect his mid-jumps here? Ooh, almost. Did a couple little shaky turnbacks there. A couple little shaky turnbacks. All right, Uni Nerdo getting the P-Wing. Ooh, True Heaven Mario taking the damage there. Uni Nerdo is also going to go for the P-Wing Music Box Strat. So that's just like... It makes 5-1 just so much easier, right? Will True Hyper Mario take a death here? Oh, no, he will not. That is always a scary part. Even I get scared there as small Mario. Nice. Uni Nerdo is now going to be getting the... Ooh, the music box. Okay, he's not using a power-up probably in case he dies here. Nope, nope, nope. Never mind. He's going to go for the mushroom. Uni, Uni Nerdo getting a movement of two, not a movement of four there. Not too bad. And now it is Uni's time. Oh, he's not going to go for it. This is, again, the classic case of trying to go faster versus not getting a point. But in this case, it's not worth it because the bottom section is only about a 12-second time loss. So he would only be saving 12 seconds against fastest possible time above. Oh, Triber Mario gets the early P-Speed in 5-5. So there is the shared points. Now, I, I was watching, both players were doing a point at the same time. Did True Hyper Mario get the Koopa Jump at the end of 5-4? I don't think so. But he did get early P-Speed. He did get it? Okay, okay, good, good. All right, he did get it. Thank you very much. The help of chat, man, my own lifeline. I love it. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, it gets really hard when there's two points going on at the same time. I was a little focused on Uni Nerdo's 5-2. Um, but we made it through. And I did see that he did get early P-Speed. No runner has gotten Marathon yet. Or movements of four. Ooh, Uni Nerdo's gonna fight this Hammer Brother, which means he's gonna be in a less... Oh! That's two movements of four for True Hyper, but sadly, he's gotta get lucky with the bottom bros giving him a third movement of four. So let's see if he gets it. Oh, that was a movement of two. Oh, a P-Wing for Uni Nerdo here. That's very interesting. Ooh, I thought he was going to clip. Sometimes you can clip in those platforms there. And he didn't even turn back. What a monster. What a beast. Ah, oh, that's right. There's a pipe there. Ah, oh, not a movement of four. Uni Nerd will take damage in the Twisty Castle in the exact spot. That I was scared of most. Slipping on the vine as well. That vine is a very slippery vine. Alright, let's see if Uni Nerdo goes for the big turtle jump at the end here. He is not going to get it. If he did go for it, he would have actually died there. Ooh, not getting the last movement of four there. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Uni oh, and there it is. Uni Nerdo not getting P speed in 5 5 as a shared point, which means True Hyper Mario does get it. Wow, that's insane. <sighs> Still no movements of four, though. Unfortunately, Uni Nerdo can't get the bottom pattern movements of four, so he has to rely on the Hammer Brother in the top, and I don't think he's been doing many movements of four. He has not been doing movements of four. Hey, he's got movements of two, but that's that's not what we want here. Oh, he clipped right through the block. What was that? Did you guys see that? He clipped right through the block. That was insane. However, he's not going to get Fire Flower. Um, so there's no way to really award the point. Now, if True Hyper Mario loses Fire Flower here, he's still in World 5. Whereas Uni Nerdo does not have Fire Flower. He's going to skip that music box. I don't think he does. Okay. Uni Nerdo does have the extra music box from 5-1. He did not use it on the bottom bros. He actually fought them uh, for the extra P-Wing. Not bad. All right, looks like true Hyper Mario is going to be able to get the fire kill. And he did not lose Fire Flower. And yeah, Uni Nerdo ha doesn't have a Fire Flower to lose. So he's not going to lose Fire Flower, which is really good. 
And that's that's one way to make sure that you don't lose that point, right? Just don't have Fire Flower to begin with. And you won't lose that point. Alright, I'm gonna have to do 5-8 for Uni. Right on, get through. Both runners are getting very close to World 6. True Eye Mario right on the doorstep of World 6. Meanwhile, Uni Nerdo is catching up. I feel like... He I feel like he didn't catch up that much in World 5. True Hyper Mario got early P-Speed. He did get some movements of 4, though. Um, and now Uni's getting a bunch of movements of 3. So hopefully, he catches up a little bit. True Hyper Mario getting bottom pattern as his first bro. Bottom pattern as his first bro. So we are now moving on to World 6. Uh, ooh, unfortunately, Uni did not get any of these. Dang it. That sucks. That stinks. That's okay. That happens. Leaf wall jump floor clip. Neither runner got the leaf in the mushroom house in world one. So they're not going to be able to get um, a point there for the world one leaf uh, for six, eight. Nice. Well, I mean, Uni Nerdo does have his fire flower right now. So if he loses it, he will get punished at that point. That is possible. Um, that's always the interesting thing. I think you always end up finishing World 5 with a Fire Flower. Or, I mean, at least you want to. Very nice. Very nice strategies in 6-4. 6-4 could be a very scary level. Those flippers, man. Those spinners, I think, is what they're called. Yeah, those spinners can really throw you around, throw you in pits. Throw you into damage, it's just a nightmare. Alright, P-Wing time. Uni Nerdo getting the stomp kill. Nice, alright. So he doesn't take damage. He cannot afford to lose any more points. Shrek Mario gonna go for the despawn strat, and he does get it. Very nice. Uni Nerdo finishing up World 5, but he does have Mushroom. Both runners have Mushroom cards. Stay away, Triper. Don't give it to Uni. He doesn't need a fanfare. All right, this looks like the Hammer Brother he wants to face. And he does get top pattern. There you go. One high, one low for True Hyper Mario. Very nice. One high, one low. And he doesn't have to fight this Hammer Brother right here. Oh, but he spawned a coin ship. He wasn't paying attention. He is going to lose a point for spawning a coin ship. Wow, I didn't even notice either. Uni Nerdo getting bottom pattern as well. Watch out for those coin ships, guys. This is the moment he got a point is the moment he lost the point. Um, now, if I remember correctly, Uni or Triper Mario also did not get any inventory stars in World 6. So, he is in the clear for that one. I'm pretty sure Uni Nerdo also has not got any inventory items, but he's got to get lucky in World 6 here. He's got to get lucky in World 6. He's gonna is he going to take double damage here to try and go for wall jump? Ooh. Oh, he's not going for wall jump. Okay, okay. All right, Uni Nerdo, do not get a mushroom. Do not get a mushroom. <laughs> the coin ship. Oh! Uni Nerdo definitely got out lagged there. He's going to have to take another death right there. Just losing all of his points to deaths. Poor Uni. The death, man. The deaths. Alright, don't get a mushroom. You cannot afford to keep losing points, so don't get a mushroom, please. Fingers crossed. Oh, no. Okay, he's good. No mushroom. Okay, he's good. Alright. Alright, True Hyper Mario did not go for wall jump, so that's a chance for Uni Nerd to get a point here. He's gonna go for the clip, maybe. Oh, he went for it. Nice. Nice try. And that is, an, that is a star. Inventory star for Uni Nerdo. Nice. He does not have an extra music box, though. But he did avoid that star, so. Whew. That's nuts. Oh, he takes damage, though. He takes another set. Oh, my gosh. This is incredible. That was close, man. That was really close. He's going to have to go back and take that pipe. 
He could go, he could go in and then come right back out if he wanted, or just grab the leaf here. And then go on the left pipe. Yeah, okay, cool. He does get no inventory stars though, so he does get that point. Now, I think Uni Nerdo's first Hammer Brother battle was top pattern. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was top pattern. Hyper on the airship. Uni Nerdo's gonna have to do the fortress first. Then he's gonna have to do. Then he's gonna. Then he's gonna have to go back. He's gonna have to do a little backtracking, but it's not too bad. Very nice job. Unfortunately, he's not gonna be able to keep that P speed. That was weird. I don't know. He must have taken damage right as the P meter ran out. That's that was that was odd. It's definitely odd. Right on. Oh, he's going back for it. Oh, and he gets another high pattern. So unfortunately, he's not going to be able to get that point. Damn, we need one high, one low. I don't think he's going to go fight the bro, considering he's already got the point. Yeah, he's not going to go back and fight him. Yeah, that, that wouldn't make any sense. All right, coming up in World 7 for True Hyper Mario. Uh, so Yuni Nerdo still has to get the wall jump. If he gets the wall jump, he does get it. He does get it. World 7, uh, 292 or lower. Don't mess up that level. No P-Wing. First try clip. No bumps and bonks. There's no... If True Hyper Mario gets through World 7 without any bumps and bonks, I will be incredibly impressed. Oh, I swear he almost bumped there. All right, Uni Nerdo, come on, get this wall jump. Ah! Did a wall rub. Dang it, Uni Nerdo. Very close. You would have got that. You would have got that shared point. I uh, tried Mario getting the clip second try. Very nice. Very nice. I tried Mario's side. Eww. Yeah, no bumps. He's going slow now. Going slow now. You need to get the wall jump. I think it was like fourth try or something, which is still pretty good. He's got no items left. He's got no items left. He can't. There's not much he can do. All right, make it through seven two. Seven two is very difficult. Ooh, you're in it. No. Okay, he's good. Yeah, unfortunately, he can't attempt at the clip. Not a whole lot he can do about that. Nice, making his way through the last fortress. Then he's on the airship. I don't know if Uni Nerdo is going to be able to make it in under an hour. I'm, I'm not sure at all. This is going to be, um, it's going to be really interesting to see. Very nice, 293. So he's not going to be punished. There's a point here for getting 292 or lower. 292 or lower, and you get. You get punished. Oh, he used the P-Wing. Nice. I see what he did there. I see what he did there. It sounded like he balked, but I don't think he did. It seems like Uni Nerdo did get high and low. Okay. Thank you very much, chat. Oh, Tribe Mario also going to be able to get the 183, I think. Let's see. He's gonna go for the damage. Oh! Is this gonna mess up his 183? That messed up his 183. Oh, that sucks. He was right there, man. He was right there. Try for Mario. I, it's lagging. Oh, he didn't get a first try, okay. Why does it have to lag like right at the right spot? Very nice, Uni Nerdo finishing up World 6 Airship.
Still no bumps for True Hyper. That's good. Is he going to get Hammer Suit, though? That's the question. Ooh, he is, but a little bit of a... A little bit of a mess up. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, give me that Hammer Suit. Dude, Hammer Suit has got to be the best power-up in the game. It's got to be. Ooh, and he deflected the fire. A lot of people don't know this, but you can actually deflect fire if you duck with the Hammer Suit. Very cool. Ooh, Union Erdo not getting a first try. Oh, gets a second try. He's probably saying, where the hell is that in my speedruns? Oh my gosh, the lag is real. Oh, go, he can't grab, okay. Holy jumping. All right, Union Erdo not bumping. Yeah, no bumps. He's got a star. He doesn't have a music box though, which means he's gonna have to fight the Piranha Plant. Nice, tries for mid clip. Ooh, takes that damage there from not being able to get that despawn, which I, I think that's all right because he's gonna use a Cloud P-Wing uh, coming up after 7-3. So as long as he doesn't mess up 7-3, doesn't get punished that point. A Uni Nerdo, or True Hyper so far has not bumped or bonked. Music box, cloud. No bumps or bonks. Dude, I was nervous for him, man. He was bumping and bonking all over the place earlier. Uni Nerdo looks like he's not going to be getting punished. Yes. Yes. 293, dope. Right on. Has either runner used a lifeline yet? I don't think so, no. I mean, why they most likely wait till race two, right? No bumps or bonks yet for Uni Nerdo. Oh, is he gonna get the 283? Come on, dude. Come on, you got this, man. Catch up with any points as you can. Do anything you can to make race two a little bit easier for yourself. 283, he gets it. Oh, wait, wrong one. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, come on, get first try clip. First try clip here. Oh, come on, he jumped perfectly. Second try again, oh man. He jumped perfectly too. He just had a bad sub pixel. He would have had that. Dang. Very nice try. Dang it, he had that. That was close. Very nice try on Uni Nerdo's side. I was gonna go for 7 7. Right on. I mean, technically, what Uni Nerdo's doing right now is faster than what uh, True Hyper Mario did. So he will, he will be saving time here. Uh, although he doesn't have the hammer suit. He's not going to go for star skip. I don't blame him, man. That's scary. Oh, the slowdown. See, if that would have happened when he skipped the star, that would have definitely caused him some, uh, some bad times. Boom. Right on. Uni Nerdo still has not bumped or bonked in the overworld. Okay, he's gonna go for the clips. Get out of there, man. Yes, he's getting out of there, thank you. Perfect. Whoa, what is he doing up there? How did the Paragoopa get up there? I don't know if I've ever seen him up there. I guess that's where he spawns. Oh, oh, he should have pressed duck. No, if he ducked there, he would have saved time. He wouldn't have had to do all this. Oh, that would have been a freebie. That would have been a freebie. Nice try though. I mean, you don't expect that to happen, right? You definitely don't expect that to happen. That is the time save. Like if you could do that in world record attempts, that would be great for the world record run.
All right, Uni Nerdo. Yeah, he doesn't have a music box, so he's got to do this. And he still has not bumped on the overworld map. If he has, my trusted chatties will tell me. My my lifelines. I got my own little lifelines. But I don't think he's bumped. He's gone pretty cautious. All right, no bumps for him. Just like that, no bumps. All right, we're in auto scroller land. So let's go ahead and open up chat. How are you guys doing today? How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are having a good day. Oh, yeah. I only get one lifeline per season, right? That's all I get. Just one lifeline per season. All right, gets the first boomerang, bro. He now has his second auto scroller. Beep, beep. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Is it possible for Uni to get first place here? I'm just trying to figure out if I should preemptively first and second here. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do the preemptive first and second here. We'll give it a try. All right, we got World 8, and that is it. A lot of auto scrollers here. A lot of auto scrollers. Yo, Nassal, thank you very much for the five gift subs. Shout out to Nassalt for the five gift subs for the tournament, dude. For the tournament! Thank you very much. Yeah, guys, I don't know. I don't know exactly what is causing uh, the lag here. I mean, I don't I, like. I th like, it can't be the internet. And yesterday it was doing the same thing. Maybe my PC, maybe this new build isn't equipped. Maybe the points tournament is too intense! Too intense for this PC. Oh, it takes damage, Uni Nerdo. Don't get stun locked, please. All right, you Hyper Mario is gonna be the first one up at the hands. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh! He almost got, he almost got no hands. The last hand. Hand number three, very close, very close. Guys, you gotta give, you gotta give a shout out to these runners, man. Putting on a good show, doing some crazy stuff. Um, very unfortunate situation in Uni, Uni Nerdo, um, but this is what it is, right? It happens, it happens. All right, more auto scrollers. More, more! We need more! All right, here we go. Uni Nerdo needs to finish up his First tank, which is the longest level in World 8. I'm pretty sure tank one is the longest level. Ooh, Triper almost getting hit by that wrench. Gotta watch out for those. Nice. All right, on. He's got his tail. Is he gonna grab the fire flower from the Navy? That is the question. All right, Shrey Mario is going to do the 289 and 291 combo points in 8 1 and 8 2. He's gonna use the star first here. Ooh, Yuni Nerdo creating a lot of lag here. Oh man, dude, the hammer suit looks so cool. Very nice, 8 1. Very nice, 8 1. He gets the 290. The 290, that's higher than 289. All right, now he's got to get the 291. The 
combo! Uni Nerdo just finished up the tank. Nice, he's gonna go to the Navy. Nice, gets the sun kill. Oh! Oh! Not awarded that point there. Dude, we have seen some pretty crazy deaths, man, in 8-1 and 8-2. It ain't easy being cheesy, right, guys? Oh, loses Fire Flower. Nice, he makes it, though. He makes it. He makes it. And Nudie Nerdo gets the Fire Grab, dude. That's crazy. Nice, equipped his... He's got another Fire Flower. He might as well. Did True Hyper get the 291? But he died. Uh, I don't think the death really plays a particular role. Oh, another death! Missing the door? What is happening? It turns out Uni Nerdo is not like so super crazy behind as he thought. This is crazy. Um, so we had never thought about what happens if you die during the combo. Does it still apply? Because I guess if it's a combo, wouldn't it have to be, uh... 8-1 and 8-2 combined, whereas he died, so it's not like a combo anymore, right? If you think about the way combos work, as a combo point, if you died in between the combo, it's no longer a combo. Very interesting. I will think about it. I will think about it. Dying. Oh, oh! Yuri Nerdo! So close into the regu! Very close. Try Mario getting that fortress done. No, it's 289 or higher and 291 or higher. If he got a 290 and 82, then it doesn't count. You, you have the opportunity to read the rules, Red Sock type exclamation tournament, guys, if you want the rules, the tracker, the bracket, the calendar, the schedule, all that fun stuff type exclamation tournament, guys. All right, um... Yeah, so we're gonna have to double- Ooh, almost taking damage there. We're gonna have to double check and see if we give him that point. See if that death creates the combo breaker. Because, like, yesterday's zone died in 8-1, but he hadn't started the combo yet. Exclamation tournament. Now, I'm pretty sure in the rules with the points, it says it's a combo point. I think dying after 8-1 is a combo breaker, but I will- I'll- I'll- I'll see. All right, Uni Nerdo, get these points, dude. Get these points. Ooh, he doesn't get the clip on Bowser. Oh, true hyper taking damage. He's not gonna be able to have Fire Flower for Bowser. All right, Uni Nerdo. Uni Nerdo needs needs to get a 291 or higher. He's looking pretty good in the clear. Oh come on! Oh, and he got stuck on the hill, so he's not gonna be able to get it. All right, are we gonna see an 8-bit peen right here? I, there should be no reason why we don't see an 8-bit peen. Oh, we're not gonna see, oh, we might see it. You need her to get in the Fire Flower here. Meanwhile, True Hype Mario is finishing up on the Bowser. Oh, he's not gonna 8-bit peen! Oh, and he doesn't get the Conveyor P speed. You need her to does not get it. Oh, that reminds me, True Hyper Mario didn't get the conveyor P speed, if I remember correctly, because he died at the doorway. But did he get it the second time? Yo, congratulations! Congratulations, True Hyper Mario, being first place.
Right on, GG, did you write Mario for finishing? No 8-bit peen though, is this a real race? Is this a real race? All right, so. Let now, since he's on auto scroll, now it's time to figure out if he does get the 8-1 and the 8-2 point. Now, the biggest question is, in the rules for the points on the Google Doc, does, does it call, does it call it a combo? Is the point called the combo point? If it's called the combo point, everyone knows how combos work. Combos are streaks. That death breaks the cycle. Doo -doo. All right, let's switch over to Uni Nerdos Audio. Yeah, but you, why would you die in the level to get a point? You're sacrificing a chance at a point to get a point. You just break evens. Dy dying to abuse that would not help. Yeah, it wouldn't help you at all. All right, Uni Nerdo. Let's go, buddy. Come on, don't, don't get punished for the hour, please. Please don't get punished for the hour. You got this, dude. He cannot afford to lose Fire Flower, guys. Pucker up, pucker up, clench. This is a clencher. Dude, he, he cannot afford to get penalized. Okay, okay, you got this, you got this, dude. If he loses Fire Flower, I don't know if he can make it. The rules state that the run ends at exactly when the hour mark hits. Oh my goodness. Come on. Jump, Bowser, go! Go, no, no, stop shooting three fireballs. Okay, 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 okay. I think he got this, I think he got this. One, two, just shoot two, jump, jump, yes! Oh, he's got 15 seconds. I don't think so. He did it! He did it! He did it! Oh, he did it! He did it! He definitely did it! I saw it. He definitely did it. I saw when that door opens. He definitely did it. He split late. Wow! Oh my god. He just made it, dude. He just made that. That was insane. Just made it. Oh my God, Jesus. He said he did dot done first. He definitely get in that door first. Um, but let's see, so he got second place. He got under 60, uh, true hyper Mario got under 60, but he didn't get sub um, 54 um, and he got first place. He did die two times. The throne jumps, no, no fanfares. He did get a coin ship though. No bumps. Okay, so it looks like 11 to 6. <laughs> Uni Mario, no more deaths. I know, Unsong, you keep telling me Uni Nerdo got 289. You have to read the rules. 290, 289 in 8-1 and 291 in 8-2. It's not 289 and 291 in whatever levels you want. You have to get a 289 in 8-1 and a 291 in 8-2. But in 8-2, he got a 289, not a 291. Okay, so it looks like since the way the combos work...
right? Because technically, technically, if you think about it, right? If you think about it, since it's a combo point, True Hyper Mario had gotten, uh, it was like a two, he got, he got a 290 and eight one. And then when he died in two, in eight two, technically he would have had like a, who knows what, a two, to whatever. It would have been a high number, but it w he died, so it wouldn't have worked. Right on, right on. That was that was crazy. That was a crazy end right there. That was really good. All right, let's give the runners a quick five minute break. Okay, I want to take a look at this. What is going on here for Tracker 1? What's going on here for Tracker 1? Now, why is it... What is this? Oh, I see. Okay. Six. All right, we're gonna move on to race two. Nice. There we go, fix that up a little bit. It's not in the way. Nice. Let uni yeah, let uni's screen breathe a little bit here. Very nice. Yeah, take a little take a little break guys We'll go and double check very quick. I will double check very quick. So that was that a movement of four? And then Movement of one, right? So yeah, he wouldn't be able to, okay. Okay. Very nice. All right, we're back. So he actually has 12. That's right, even on my five minute break, we're tracking points, guys. Even on the five minute break, track points. The MFP check.
Do 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 do. All right. Epic comeback incoming says Uni Nerdo. I like that. I love that. I love the epic comebacks. Epic. All right, so we got race two coming up. What, what happened now? Oh, I moved it down, okay. So what happened to the tracker? Okay, everything should be cleaned up now. Cleaned up now. Good luck. Good luck to these runners. Race two, 12 to 5, and we are coming right up. Let's take a look at the brackets real quick, though. Um, True Hyper Mario versus Uni Nerdo. The winner of this match is going to be going up against iBooba. Ooh, iBooba's got his first matchup. And uh, I'm pretty sure they could schedule any time they wanted, really. Um, zone versus Narfman. Zone was the one who took that one. Right on. Right on. Not bad. That's pretty cool. Do 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 That's right, champion gets a thousand bones, baby. Champion gets a thousand bones and bragging rights, of course. Uh, type exclamation tournament legend hidden to get the um, to get all the information you need for the tournament. Thousand bucks Canadian. What is that like? Eight hundred and like twenty bucks American. Uh, 237 buckaroos. All right, let's see if these racers are ready. Let's see if these runners are ready. Let's go, baby. Give them a little break. Oh, they're ready, all right.
All right, just waiting on True Hyper Mario. Waiting on that True Hyper Mario. Da 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 Do 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 Yes, yes, all for the Leafs. Let's ready it up, guys. Let's ready this up. You need Nerdo with the dot ready. So waiting on that hyper. Come on now. All right, both runners are ready. Is chat ready though? Is chat ready? Let's get a dot ready from chat. I need to make sure you guys are ready. If you guys are not ready, then I don't know. No, how dare you not be ready? How dare you not be ready? <laughs> you guys are ready. Okay, yeah, you guys are ready. You guys are dicking around so much. All right. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right, let's go, baby, let's go. All right, race two, both runners start. Both runners are pretty even right now. Um, in terms of points, these runners are not crazy even. Go ahead and move this down a little bit for Uni Nerdo. Give, give, his, give his layout a little bit of room. So you guys are going to notice that the layouts are a little bit uneven. And that is always because everyone's stream is different. I'm capturing the stream and allowing you guys to watch directly from the stream. So everyone's got different layout settings and different canvas sizes and, and all that stuff. So we try our best to make sure things are lined up as much as we can, uh, as much as we can have them. But it looks like both runners are starting off this race way more even than last race. Way more even than last race. And Uni Nerdo, if he if Uni Nerdo didn't die as many times as he died last run, he would probably have about 10 points right now, 10 or 11. So maybe if he doesn't die and secure some points, he can actually catch up to True Hyper Mario. I'm not too sure though. Uh, it's gonna be tough. Um, as long as True Hyper keeps keeps getting these points. Um, especially with some of the shared points as well. I want to see Uni Nerdo kind of shake off those nerves and really pull it back, man. I want to see him bring it back here. All right, first point right here, MFP Tunnel. True Hyper Mario got it last time. Uni Nerdo did not get it last time. So let's see, if, let's see if we can switch it around a little bit here. All right, True Hyper Mario is going to be the first one to go. Oh, and he does not get the tunnel. Oh, and Uni Nerdo does not go for the tunnel either. Dang. So, Tri Mario is going to lose some time, but he does not get the tunnel. You are not allowed to take damage in that tunnel. All right, here we go. Beep, beep. I wonder if Uni Nerdo tried to press the down. Oh, and this is what we need here for Uni Nerdo. This is what needs to happen. This is insane. Oh man, if Uni Nerdo would have got the tunnel, right? If he would have got the tunnel, then that would have been uh, that would have been a big difference. But hey man. I'm not rooting for anyone, but the underdog always makes for an interesting second matchup, right? 
So we're gonna, we have a lot of focus on Union Erdo. Is he gonna get the leaf? He does not get the leaf. That is not what you wanna see. You hate to see it, guys. You hate to see it. Ooh, try Mario. And the star is gonna get the Fire Flower in the battle, which is gonna save him a little bit of time there. And does he get the leaf here? Does he get the leaf? Oh, and he doesn't get the leaf either. Ooh. All right, here we go. Uni Nerdo in the lead with time. Neither runner has used their lifelines yet. You figure if they were planning on using it, they would just use it right away in race two. Now, I can't, I can't imagine Uni Nerdo not using his lifeline, which is, I find it strange that he hasn't used it yet because, you know, if he's gonna... He doesn't know how many points his opponent is gonna get during this match. So if he's gonna... If he's already losing by the amount that he's losing by, I mean, you might as well use it. So hopefully he uses it. If he doesn't use it by the time he finishes, I can't help him. Even though it's free and it's right there, he that's the point of the lifeline. He has to physically and verbally use it during one of his races. It cannot be used in between races. So if he beats Bowser... And then he's like, yo, Mitch, I want to use my lifeline. I can't help him. It's got to be used. So, so it looks like he is about... Ooh, it looks like he's almost a solid 10 seconds ahead here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good start lead. That is definitely a good start lead. I don't think either runner got a throne jump. I don't think either runner got the throne jump. All right, world two for Uni Nerdo, and he's gonna start off with two one. Two one, baby. All right, let's go. Let's put on Uni Nerdo's audio since he's in the lead now. Yeah, there we go. All right, here we go. Uni Nerdo making great work. It looks like Uni Nerdo has has wiped off all of those nerds, man. And by nerd, I just said nerds instead of nerves. Oh yeah, all about those nerds, man. All right, he's gonna go for the mushroom. All right, he knows exactly what card he's got. Boom. He has been practicing his cards, man. He has been practicing his cards. He gets the spade right there. And it looks like True Hyper Mario. Try for Mario also is going to get the spade game. You need Nerdo getting lots of items, man. Lots and lots of items. All right, nobody fall in the mode of tears. Who don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Nice, and he's out of there. True Hyper Mario also. Going to go for the moat. And he also did not fall in the moat. That's too close, man. Oh, Uni Nerdo. Ah, uh, he lost the he lost an arrow on his. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to get that, unfortunately. As we did see, not getting P speed versus early P speed in the fortress is a big deal. But you get P speed back up in here, and in a tournament setting, it's not the end of the world. Oh, and True Hyper Mario doesn't get it either. But he does get the small backup there. He does get the small backup. This is intense already. What a great second race. Nice. They both make it in. There we go. Get the fire kill. All right. There we go. Red rocket strat. Nice. Keeps P speed. Uni Nerdo gets it! Nice! And True Hyper Mario also gets it. Both runners get it. Sorry, I was super focused on that. This run is crazy because any slip up from True Hyper Mario can just create a, a downward spiral. Anything like that. So I don't I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen.
Nice, both making it through the sun level. Uni Nerdo not taking damage this time in the sun level. Very nice. Very nice. All right, which direction he's going to go? He does not want to do 2-4. I don't blame him. Oh, watch out for that. Watch out for that. Ooh, and, and I think that's two movements of four for true Hyper Mario. Nice, he gets the he gets the hammer. Is he going to get the music box though? I don't think he's got a choice. Yeah, I think he's just gonna go straight down there. All right. Now for true Hyper Mario, I think that boomerang bro did move backwards for him. Oh, watch out. Oh yeah, if you go too slow there, that beetle is all up in your business. Ooh, move backwards. I think True Hyper got both moved backwards for that one. Uh, we'll need confirmation from the uh, from my personal lifelines. The chat. Both bros move backwards. Okay, one bro move backwards for Uni and he takes damage. Why? Why do you have to rush it? You have to wait for the boomerangs anyways. You do not have to go close to him. That was a very unfortunate, not needed damage there. And this boomerang bro moves forward. Very unfortunate. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. All right, he's going to get the heck out of there. Right on, he only got one. Only got the one. I think they both only got the one. All right. They're both on the airship, much closer than last time. You love to see it, guys. You love to see it. We're moving on to World 3, starting with the shared points. Time to take a drink. Not much going on on the uh, auto scroller. Why does it always chug on the auto scroller? I don't even know. I don't even. I don't even know what what deal is that. It always it always chugs at random times on the auto scroller. Oh, well, he's already taking damage, so that's not the worst thing to happen. You need Erdo still in the lead there, but he did take damage. So true Hyper Mario. We're both of true Hyper Mario's uh, Boomerang Bros moving forward. That's the question. We need to know. We need to know if both of them were. All right, starting off with three one. Does he get it? Oh, he doesn't get it. Does true Hyper Mario get it though? No. Damn it! That was a chance. Yeah, this is gonna cost him the lead. But, at least he's got his Fire Flower back. That would be the ideal place to use your Fire Flower. We are going to switch back over to True Hyper Mario's audio. As he takes the lead just a little bit. Alright, ooh! Is this going to be the first runaway bro that we deal with? Oh, Tribe Mario not getting the P-Speed, allowing Uni to almost catch back up. Look at these guys. Uni does not fall in the water, so he takes the lead. That is incredible. Something just like falling in the water. Now I got to switch the audios back. Right on. And just like that. Just like that. That's insane. You love to see it, guys. Oh, no runaway, though. A 
looks like True Hyper Mario. No, he's got a music box, so he is able to use it. All right, look at this. All right, here we go. Door four, man. And if we're, if we're not getting runaways, if we're not getting frame jumps, we're getting door four, okay? Wow, their Hammer Brothers are in the same position. That's crazy. All right, door four. Oh, Uni Nerdo doesn't get it. Ah, oh, True Hyper doesn't get it. So, so just think, if Uni didn't go for it, or if True Hyper didn't go for it, the, the amount of lead, like, each each person would have had on the other. Because that's, like, a solid, like, six or seven time loss, right? Six or seven second time loss, I'd say. Mm, probably more than that, actually. I've never actually timed it, but but I think failing door door three or door four or whatever is, like, it's definitely got to be a solid, like, ten second time loss. All right, music box time. They're both nervous in case something bad happens in this. Nice. Uni Nerdo needs True Hyper to take damage here. Uni Nerdo needs True Hyper to take damage here. And it's not looking like he's going to. Okay. All right, they're gonna be able to get past and use the music box. Yeah, with the cloud, boom. Look at them neck and neck right now. Wow, this race is intense, man. This race is intense. Nice. Uni Nerdo keeping peace speech. True Hyper not. So Uni Nerdo is going to stay ahead by a little bit. Oh, that was close, man. He almost didn't get that H jump. The H jump is like even harder whenever whenever you have to like fix your movement. It's, it's just even harder. Oh no. Oh no! He missed the pipe. Look at how much time loss that is. That is a huge time loss. Damn, he's gonna lose the he's gonna he's gonna lose his lead right there. That's well, a big time loss. Nobody got any points. While True Hyper Mario might get a point here. On the airship. Not a whole lot going on in the airship. Very. Sometimes it's nice when one person's on the airship and the other person isn't because it gives us something, right? And it's not like this is YouTube. We can't fast forward the airships. Nobody likes auto scrollers. Very nice. True Hyper Mario did not lose his Fire Flower, so we will get that point. All right, we are moving on to World 4. Whee! World 4. Duck jumps, bottom P speed, marathons. Here we go. Now, last time, True Hyper Mario did not get bottom P speed point for four ones. So I, I feel like he's going to get it this time. I feel like he's going to get it this time. And last time, Uni Nerdo had a very, very big time loss, unfortunately. 
Uh, in World 4... Nice, he does get bottom P-Speed. And so does, so does Uni Nerdo. They both get it. Nice, bottom P-Speed from both runners. Very nice, tied up in points. All right, Marathon. Marathon? No. Nope, no. Nope. When you see both the Hammer Brothers, you know for sure they can't get a Marathon. Oh, that was close from True Hyper, man. I thought he was going to lose his Fire Flower there. Wow, look at these runners, man. Neck and neck this whole time. Uh, marathon? Marathon from anyone? No, I don't think they can do it. Ooh, that's good. That was the movement of four. Close. Close, but not quite. Ooh, true hyper with the bump. All right, Uni, do not die in this level. You got this, man. I didn't even commentary curse you last time. Yes, Uni Nerdo. Nice, he does get it. True hyper Mario falls behind. Is he also going to nail it? Oh, he goes to a slowdown. He got a little nervous. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Not bad. Wow, man, why? Like, these runners not doing this fortress with the star is inc it That's... I'm, I'm not joking. Like, this level is so difficult. There's no way. Nice! True Hyper Mario nails it! So he's about a hammer brother ahead, right? He's already fought his, his Cloud Bro, where Uni Nerdo, Uni Nerdo has not fought his Cloud Bro. He's going to use the early music box. That's going to be interesting. Ooh, he could have got a marathon, Uni Nerdo. Definitely could have got a marathon. In Uni Nerdo's position, I would have music boxed later, but I think he has not got the cloud yet. So this is, ooh, oh my goodness, man. These Lactus are not being nice to them. It's really hard to make the right plays in World 4, man. With the music box and everything, it's very hard to make the right plays. Yeah, see, true Hyper Mario can get screwed over here. But I think... All duck jumps, baby. Nice! They both got it, dude. I was zoned into that one. I was zoned in that one. True Hype Mario getting lucky there. Very nice. Now, Uni Nerdo, what? Like, he... I don't know. Oh. That's the P-Wing, actually, I think. I think that's the P-Wing. No, that's the Cloud. Holy crap! <laughs> this is crazy. All right, get out of there. Yeah, he's out. He's out. No inventory items. They're both in the same level. Both getting the same points. It just goes to show what, like, what beginner race nerves can do to a person. Because this race is not anywhere near close to the way the first race was. I mean, they're neck and neck, man. They're, they're points and points here. Holy, look at this. Look at this. That's insane. All right, well, being as they're on the first auto scroller, what's going on, chat? Yeah, Uni Nerdo took like five deaths in the first race. Um, had a couple, had like a pretty big slip up in World Four as well. <laughs> Thanks and oof, yeah, right.
Yeah, he just made it sub. He just made it sub 60 last race. It was it was by a second or two, for sure. He split late, so it seemed like it was an hour, but he didn't. Uh, you get one extra point for finishing first. All right, let's move the tracker on to world five. Ooh, watch out. Come on, world four auto scroller, hurry up and finish. <laughs> Ad break, yeah, not during the tournament though, screw that. Come on now. Oh, thank God it's over. Yes, True Hyper. Yes. Union Erdo. Nice. So this is not World 5. So if you lose your Fire Flower here, it's not... Nothing Nothing bad happens. Boop, 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 boop. Nice. Here we go. Yo, Union Erdo with the 69 coins. That's right. Okay. All right, here we go. World five. So we're going to start off with five one. I think both runners, I don't know if Uni Nerdo is actually going to do the five one music box uh, because he didn't get the extra P Wing in world four. So let's see what he does here. Okay, he is gonna use it. I think he's down a P-Wing. So I'm curious to see what happens here. Oh my gosh, the troll hole, look at that. How does Mario fit in a one tile while standing? Like, that's so weird. You have to be ducking to get in that one tile. All right, here we go. Oh, Uni Nerdo with the movement of four. That's right, you need Erdo with the movement of four. Okay, we're gonna listen. We're gonna listen to you need Erdos, actually. All right, let's see if True Hyper Mario. It looks like it looks like True Hyper Mario is going to get the two eighty two. Yes, he is two eighty two on True Hyper side. Uni Nerdo did not go for it, but it, it, I mean, it allowed him to catch up in time. That's another movement of four right there. That's two already. Nice, the Bam Bam kills. Yeah, Uni Nerdo ca caught up a lot here with by not going for the the 282.52, but I don't know if that really helped him. If he gets a movement of four here, it did. No, he did not get a movement of four, but he is gonna get the P-Wing. So here, now he's made up for the extra P-Wing. Okay, so now this is where the time kind of comes into play. Ooh, misses that. I think that was the movement of four right there. If that was a movement of four, that will that would be his third one. That that might have been a movement of three though. I think that was a movement of three. He has gotten two movements of four though. Oh, they both came out of the pipe at the same time. That's hilarious. All right, both on the twisty castle though. All right, true hyper. No movements of four yet. All right, is he gonna go for the big, big Koopa jump at the end? Very risky point. Oh, he loses P speed, which means he can't even try for it. This is a great opportunity for Uni Nerdo. This is a great opportunity. If only he knew, man. If only he knew. Oh! 
Visual cues have lied to him! The visual cues have lied to him. And it looks like it looks like True Hyper Mario did not get P early P speed. Okay, where are we? Where are we? We're on world five. Yeah, he was legit one pixel off. Oh, Uni Nerdo did not. So did, because we were in the middle of that death, did True Hyper Mario get early P speed and grab the leaf and do like really slow flies at the start there? Because if so, then I mean, he'd still get the point. He did get early P speed. We'll wait, we'll wait for the, uh... Oh, Uni Nerdo does not get that movement of four. That is, that is unfortunate, man. He was one away from a movement of four there. All right, he's gonna do damage boost, grab. No, he's not gonna grab. So he's gonna grab his fire flower on the airship. That's not a bad idea. All right, here we go. 5-8, not a movement of four. And Uni Nerdo cannot get a movement of four, unfortunately, because he did fight a Hammer Brother earlier slash later. Nice, both runners making it through World 5. Uni Nerdo, unfortunately, was trying to go for that point. He did have a death. That is why 5-4 is in the risky point category. It is a very risky point. Nice to ride Mario, getting out of there. Done, World 5. Uni Nerdo one level behind. Much better than last time, um, but unfortunately still behind. That death, man, if he didn't if he didn't die there, that would have been great. They, they would have still been tied up. And if he would have got that extra movement of four, they would have been, he would have been one point ahead for this race. Unfortunately still behind after race one. Fortunately still behind after race one. What are in those crates, Bowser? Hey, <laughs> Uni Nerdo's got P-Wings and music boxes and stars. He's got lots of items. Oh, I see some legs. I see those, I see those legs, True Hyper Mario. I see those legs. And on Uni Nerdo on the airship as well. He's gonna grab the fire flower. Now if both runners lose their fire flowers, they get punished. As long as Oh my gosh. Dude, he almost lost it. He almost lost his fire flower. Uh, I don't, I don't know why Uni's not using a lifeline. Maybe he thinks it doesn't matter. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't question what they do. They're, they're in their own realm. They do what they do. Right on. Don't lose the fire flower, Uni. Don't lose. Okay, nice. Very nice. Get it done, Uni. All right, use his hammer. Top or low pattern? What's he going to get first? He's going to get low pattern first. True Hyper Mario with the low pattern. All right, let's move on to World 6. Lots and lots of points in World 6. Neither runner got the leaf, though, in the Mushroom House, so he can't really make much of it. All right, Uni Nerdo's joined him in World 6. Is he gonna get top or low pattern? What does he get first? He gets top pattern. So True Hyper got low, 
And Uni Nerdo got high for the start, right? I, I'm pretty sure. True Hyper was low, Uni was high. All right, here we go. No early P speed, but that's pretty good. Nice, Uni Nerdo gonna do the damage boost. Nice, big, big jump there, man. That's a tough jump to make. Very nice on Uni's side. Drive Mario making good work of 6-4. Cleaning it out, man. Get it out of here. Haha, <laughs> mini marathon. Oh, True Hyper's gonna use his music box here this time. Which means he's gonna have to do the Piranha Plant in World 7. Oh, Uni with the marathon. That sucks. Man, they've been getting, like, the same Hammer Brother, like, positions. It's been creepy. Oh, Uni almost takes the same death as last time, but he doesn't. Thank goodness. Oh, man. That was just way too close. Oh. Interesting play here. Oh, Uni gets screwed over there. He had it. He's got the extra music box, though, so Uni is good. Okay, true, Hyper Mario had low, and then he got high, so he has it right there. Now Uni Nerdo needs a low pattern. All right, and it looks like true, Mario got no inventory stars as well. Uh, neither did Uni Nerdo, but he needs to avoid... Oh no, he's he's already avoided it, so he's got it. He's got it. There it is. Wait, what? They're both going to the What happened? What happened? N neither runner did this in the first race. Is there a strategy I'm missing? Is it to wake up the hammer brother? And he got the low pattern. Very nice, dude. I think that was to wake up the Hammer Brother, but they should just... Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, that was definitely not faster. But I guess the... I guess the... Um, I guess the quest here is... You're getting a Hammer Suit anyways? Not going for the wall jump. If Uni Nerdo gets this wall jump, man, that's another point he gets. Uni Nerdo also still has an extra music box that True Hyper Mario does not have. All right, here we go. He's gonna go for the clip. Ooh, that looked very close. I thought he was gonna get that. I really thought he was gonna get that. All right, Uni Nerdo, you need to get this wall jump, man. You need to get it. Oh, he gets it! Nice, dude. And because True Hyper Mario did not get it, that is why Uni Nerdo gets the point. That's how shared points work. That is how shared points work. Unfortunately, Uni Nerdo is a little bit ways behind. He's got a lot of fire flowers in his inventory. Where are they coming from? Oh, bonked his head. You get P-Speed back here though, nice. All right. All right, back in action. Back to work. Oof, nice try, nice try. Nice, man. We're seeing a big swing here, man. We're seeing, we're definitely seeing a big swing here. I like it. Um, but unfortunately, race one, man, you got to come into these tournament races confident and not scared or nervous because you do not want your nerves to screw you up. There's nothing worse than getting points and then losing them due to, due to little mistakes. Avoidable mistakes, too. That's the question. All right, just like that. Uni Nerdo with a three-point swing, man. Well, not really a swing, but you know what I mean. 
Right on. All right, off to World 7. There we go. So World 7, what, is, what does World 7 have? World 7 is uh, do not get lower or 292 in 7-3. Uh, do not use a P-Wing and, and get a 183 in the, the Fortress. You got a first try clip 7-6 and no bumps or bonks. That's a big world. It's a big world. Uh, no, I'm not in the tournament. I created the tournament, and I'm uh, cash prize funding the tournament and all that all that stuff. So, no, I couldn't be in it. I think it would be... I, I would win and pay myself the prize money. Wait, what what inventory star did Uni Nerdo get? Did he get an inventory star in World? Ooh, first try. That is something that's like almost secures the win. All right. No bumps or bonks, true hyper. Oh, and he takes the damage, unfortunately. All right, Uni Nerdo. Oh. Second try, dude! He's gotten all of his clips second try, I'm pretty sure, this tournament. That is incredible. I love that, man. I love that so much. They win an extra 500 bucks? How much prize money you guys think I'm giving around? What do you... Who's... Who's funding this tournament? An extra 500 bucks. <laughs> All right. No bumps. Very nice, he gets through. All right, Uni. Watch out. No! All right, he's good. That was way too scary. All right, does he get it? The 283. Nice, he does get it. Very, very nice. Nice, you know, you need Nerdo does not, he cannot afford to get punished here. Although I think, ah, oh, True Hyper gets a first try. Very nice, two extra points there. Okay, I think, I think it's very difficult at this point for... I think it's very difficult for uh, Uni Nerdo to really uh, swing this back, but... Who knows? No bumps or bonks yet for True Hyper. Wait, why is True Hyper doing this? He could have equipped... The hammer suit and done 7-7 seven, seven if he wanted. He has a hammer suit. Oh, Uni Nerdo not getting the 183. He tried though. That's a tough point, man. It's like an introduction into um 100 percent True hyper taking 10 deaths would definitely allow Uni Nerdo to kind of catch up a little bit here. Come on, Uni Nerdo, first try. Yeah, first try! Let's go, baby! Let's go! All right, true Hyper Mario. It's getting a little laggy in here. No! 
<laughs> that jump is so silly. I wonder if Uni Nerdo's gonna remember he has a hammer suit. Nice. Hammer suit is best item. Go, go, Uni Nerdo, go! Oh, don't die in this level. I don't I don't see him dying, but Yeah, he's got the extra he's got the extra hammer suit. He can he can afford this. That's right. And just like that, true hyper Mario's out with no bumps or bonks. I did not hear any. Nice try, Uni Nerdo. Nice try. It's like the internet knows exactly when they're on auto scrollers and they're like, screw this. Get auto scrolled. Get auto scrolled. All right, not too bad. So he's going to cloud music box here, right? Cloud. Music box. All right, looks like he didn't get any bumps or bonks in the overworld either. Ah, dude, why couldn't this be race one, man? This would be crazy. All right, let's scroll on down. All right, we got lots of auto scrollers. How's it going, chat? We got world eight, the great equalizer. It's still important if you win race two, just as much as you win race one. You might not advance. Okay, you might not advance to the next stage of the tournament, round two, but at least at least you know that you won the second race and all you need to do is win the first race rather than losing first and second race. You know, you can still feel good about something. So it's still very important how this second race turns out. Uh, there's no high score loser, but we keep track of all seasons, all points, and all season, like, um all tournament points and stuff. So all of the points that you generate through the, all the seasons you play will be added together as like your, your career totals and stuff like that. And eventually I can start seeding people based on uh, career totals and points and wins and losses and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's to, because if you know you're gonna lose, there's no point in throwing, like you should still try and maximize your points. Right, you still want to try and do the best that you can. <laughs> well, I don't know if Uni Nerdo's used the lifeline yet. He has not used it yet. And I can't I can't nudge him to use it. All right, here we go. Tank Brigade 1 for True Hyper. So Uni Nerdo is, I want to say solid. He's definitely, oh, 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 don't get stunned. He's stunned. No, he's going to get stunned again. He died. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen. What happened? That is another death. The stomp, the thick boy. He's got a fire flower. Well, he can get fire flower in the airship. That. I think we're gonna have to chalk. I think we're gonna have to chalk that up to second place. That is not what we were talking about when we were talking about keeping points. That is definitely not what we were talking about. But I mean, hey, it happens, guys. It's not. There's not much. Um, remember, everyone, member to type exclamation tournament. So you can get the scheduling and the calendar to know there's a bunch of races tomorrow. There's a bunch of races on Sunday. So don't miss them, guys. You'll be able to know what time they're in.
Exclamation tournament. What about Easter? I thought nobody would schedule on Easter. Like, is it? Wait, isn't Easter on Monday? Isn't that like actually, isn't Easter always on a Monday? This is the Monday after, no, it should be Sunday. Easter's are on Sundays. Yeah, Easter Sundays. Always Sunday, that's right. Yeah, Easter's always on Sunday. I don't know, people schedule races on Sunday, I guess. Oh, he gets Wrangless, very nice. Tournament? <laughs> you guys are little shits right now. All right, Uni Nerdo. I don't like Uni. I don't like the way Uni Nerdo avoids the um, the boss. Like when you stomp on him, just do a full big jump. When the boss reaches the the apex of his bounce, right? But what Uni does is like a double jump. It's weird. So right, you stomp and then wait and then jump when he hits the the peak. Uh, it's weird, man. It's weird. But. Whatever, I, I want to say whatever's comfortable for you, but I mean, I could see I could see somebody dying on the boss in randomizer because he's all weird and in different tiles and you never know what patterns you're getting. Um, but it happens. That's not the first time we've seen that in the points tournament. That is definitely not the first time we've seen that. Now, Uni Nerdo, he's got 10 minutes to beat this world. Now, if he gets no hands, he should be able to do it in what, eight? So, no matter what, he should be in the clear. But I think he's further behind now than he was before. Ah! Hand two. Getting gorbed by the hands. Getting gorbed by the hands, man. Ah, oh, hand three! No! Uni Nerdo has not used his lifeline. Not yet. Um, it, it won't help, which me that that might be why he's not using it. He might think it's not going to help him. Um, so, and that's fine. I mean, that's fine. All right, you know, Uni Nerdo really, really needs no hands. Just, just because we don't want him to go uh, over an hour. All right, Tank Brigade 1 is finished. True Hyper Mario is on the Air Force right now. Ooh, a little slow down there. Lose a little bit of time there. All right, let's see if True Hyper Mario can redeem himself with the combos here. Let's see if he can redeem himself. Oh my God, what's going on, Uni? What's going on? I look over, he's holding bombs and things are blowing up. All right, here we go, the combo. Okay, 292, 291, he should be in the clear. Yeah, 289 or higher. Nice, 290, very nice. All right, here we go. The second level. 291 or higher. That's such a risky strat. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, he just made it! Holy crap! 
That was just about to change. That was so close to changing. It's way too close, but he did get it. All right, Uni Nerdo's turn at the hands. Oh, take damage from True Hyper. Is he gonna get Conveyor P Speed? Oh! Uni Nerdo gets no hands! And True Hyper Mario does not get Conveyor P Speed. Uni Nerdo definitely needed that. He definitely needed that no hands. He needed that, dude. He needed that. He definitely needed that. Because, like, his goal right now is to collect the last points in World 8 and not get under an hour. Or not get over an hour. That's, like, his job right now. I don't know if he can make it though, man. I don't know if he can make it. That should be a prediction. Can Uni Nerdo make it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know. He, I think he can get all three of these levels done in like a minute and a half, right? Well, not the fortress. Maybe two minutes total. Two eighty nine, he got it. That's good. That's good. Two eighty nine, he's got it. Come on, Uni Nerdo, you got this level too, man. What the heck? He did that same thing last time. What is that? I don't I don't know exactly what he's doing there. I don't know what the, what's going on when he's going up the hill there, but he's getting stuck in the hill. I think he's pressing down. He's pressing down by accident. Oh! True Hyper with the clip! Nice, Twitch player. Thanks. Oh! Uni Nerdo gets conveyor P speed. Very nice, dude. That was a weird way of getting conveyor P speed. I've never seen that one done like that before, but that was cool. And just like that, True Hyper Mario is going to go ahead and take the win. Just like that with 15 points. 27 points total. 27 points total for True Hyper. All right, Uni, let's go, buddy. Can Uni Nerdo make it? Can he make it? He's got four minutes, dude. He's got four, four minutes. Three, three and a half minutes. Fifty nine, fifty nine, fifty nine. That's what that's what we want to see. Another fifty nine, fifty nine again. I don't know, man. This is too much. This is too much for my heart. One million dollars. All right. He's got the hammer suit. It's good thing he didn't accidentally use the whistle there. Come on, Uni. 
Not even using a pewing. Oh yeah, he should be in the clear here. Oh yeah, he's good. Oh yeah, he's got two minutes. Nice. Let's go! Very nice. He Hey, his race two was much better than last race. His race two was much better than race one. Fifteen. Eleven. Much, much better. Wow, much, much better. Okay, let's see. Yo, G. GG runners. Uh, game two points were... Uh, Uni had 11, right? Yes. So what do we total out the points here? Um, 17 to 27. Yeah, 27 to 17. 27 to 17 is what it looks like, guys. And that's it. Race. That is the only race we have for today, unfortunately. But let's go take a look at the calendar. Where is the calendar? Brackets. Yeah, where's where's the calendar right here? Let's take a look. Uh, any day now. Any day now. All right, so tomorrow, guys, we have four races tomorrow. We have four races tomorrow, guys, starting at 11, so eight my time. No, nine in the morning my time, I think. You guys can see? Click on the link, you frigs. What do I gotta do for you? It's not even supposed to be on this window. It's supposed to be on this window right here. Click on the link, you lazy turds. Nice crop. I didn't crop anything. It just opened up on my other monitor. You freaking lazy turds. Open up the link yourself. That's why we got the calendar for you guys. So we got the Cole versus WRD, Scarface Nico versus Dom, Dr. Trash Panda versus Zero Planes, Jahali versus Beardy Locks. Right on. So. Tomorrow, we're probably going to have Haxer take over for uh, maybe two two or one of the races. Either join me in on stuff like that. So um, that should be that should be pretty fun. Have extra commentary. Um, yeah, and again, type exclamation tournament if you guys want all the details uh, for everything you want for the races, man. Looking pretty thick, dude. Looking pretty thick. Looking pretty thick. Now, is either runner going to stay on and race or play? Because we're going to go raid someone. I know, very exciting weekend. We got a big day tomorrow. We got a big day on Sunday. Uh, for Open and Fell, need to reschedule. They need to reschedule. Right. Well, let's uh Oh, hi guys. Here's Mitch.
On tää hieno kenttä tää neljä ykkönen. All right, well let's go raid Disaster Katie. I think it's Disaster Caddy. I, I don't know how it's pronounced actually. I don't know exactly how it's pronounced. No signal, Mitch. No signal. Yeah, that means my game and my camera's not on. Uh, but we'll go raid a fellow SMB3 runner, and then we will be back on again tomorrow all day, guys. We got all day tomorrow. We got all day tomorrow. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, take it easy, guys. I'll see you later.